Good morning. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be reviewing, unboxing, and getting some benchmarks and installing onto my Dell Enceron 15 7000 series laptop. This Samsung solid state drive. It's the 850 Pro. There's the 850 Evo. I went with the 850 Pro. I think it had a little bit faster read and write times. It has some cool stuff you can do with it once you install it. So let me unbox it. All right, we got our trusty keys here. So I don't uh, completely destroy the box. Here we go. Oh, that was not so difficult. And I destroyed the box even with my keys. Cool. Okay, so this is cool. You get um, a little sticker that you can put on your laptop. So you can, I can put it by the Intel i7 emblem, or if you have a graphics card, Nvidia, little sticker, you can put it, you can put it next to there. So I think that's pretty cool. It gives you two of them. So I actually am gonna put that on there. I'm gonna find some good placement for it. I think that's gonna look really cool on my laptop. You have, it comes with a one-stop install navigation manual and software, which is cool. I'm gonna need that because I am a rookie when it comes to installing solid state drives. We have a warranty statement summary and installation guide, which looks very, very detailed. I like this. So this should make it pretty easy to install. So that's pretty cool. And it shows you on the other side how to do it on a laptop PC. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So here it is. Dun dun. It looks really cool. Woo! That is cool. Can you zoom in on that? So a little bit about this one in a moment. It has a 10 year limited warranty, which is freaking sweet. So this will last you 10 years. So it has ultimate read and write performance, enhanced endurance and reliability, efficient power management. And here it shows the uh, read and write times. So I have, this is the 256 uh, gigabyte one. So it has read up to 550 megabytes per second, write up to 520 megabytes per second. And you can see some other specs there. So cool looking box, very cool looking box, and very, very, very cool looking solid state drive that I cannot wait to put in my laptop. So I got this hard drive enclosure on Amazon for like 10 bucks or something, maybe it was 12. Um, so I can put my old uh, 5200 RPM hard drive in here so I can keep it as a terabyte. So um, I'll have somewhere to put it and I can actually still use it. I got a phone this. So this is the Sabrink Connecting Differently. It looked cool, it had good reviews on Amazon. And on the, for the solid state drive, the prices fluctuate on Amazon. So if you put it in your in your cart, um, it can update you as the prices go down and you can wait to get a really good price. And Amazon Prime will mail it to you in two days. Two day shipping, two free day, sh two, free two day shipping. Just be sure uh, to cancel your free trial so you can get charged $100. Unless you do want to keep your Amazon Prime. Okay, so the enclosure, this is good because it comes with little screws, which I think I can use. A little mini screwdriver, which I think I can use to open up my laptop. Which I think I definitely will use. This feels, this feels nice. I think it feels like aluminum, as I can feel through the plastic. So, yeah, my hard drive should fit perfectly in here. And it's got a cool, uh, cool case to put it in, which is cool. And a little, uh, let's see what this is. Just a little user guide. And this is a, U a USB 3.0, so it should be, um, should connect. The speed should be a little faster than the USB 2.0. All right, guys, I'm gonna be putting in the one-stop install navigation manual and software right now. I just realized what? I don't have a uh, CD drive. I don't know what that is. I can't put my CD in there. Why? Because I don't have a thing for it. You don't have a car? 
No, I can't put this in there. You said you had to drive it. You have one, don't you? A car? Doing the uh, Samsung data migration, so I'm going to put the solid state drive into this enclosure. So I'm going to uh, connect it and then I guess move the data from a hard drive onto the solid state drive. So I really don't have to put it in here, but... So my solid state drive should be good to go. Should, I, should put windows and whatever else I need to run my computer. So, okay, let's see. Yeah, so we can only put uh, 238 gigabytes, 238.5, so I need to select what I want. So let's see, click next. Okay, to select, okay, unnecessary. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's see. So I'm gonna pick what I want and don't want. Okay, wow, so it's gonna be a lot of stuff I'm gonna pick. Okay, that should be good. I searched for everything, so. Okay, starting the cloning. Never disconnect the disk while cloning is in progress. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. All right, so I got this tiny little screwdriver that came with my hard drive enclosure. One down, looks like nine to go. Okay, so here's uh, the insides. And uh, this is the screwdriver I had the best luck with. 1.6 times 40 millimeters. And it looks like I, these four screws do not come out. So you, you take all the rest out and you can pop it off. So here's the one terabyte hard drive, which I'm going to replace with solid state, my solid state drive.
Goodbye. Goodbye.